Hey guys, it's Mr. Man here, and today, um, I got a lot of stuff to get done. I've been wanting to post up the video for a while, but I've been busy with stuff, so I'm going to post up the video. Plus, I'm going to be doing my second episode of What's in My Mind. So, yes, let's get started. The first thing I'd like to talk about is, is my... I think it was my third time, Rick. I said why I prefer Magical Mal over Podwali, and I'm going to be telling you why. I'm going to be reading the two cards and then explain why. The Podwali it says the following: Reveal the three top the top three cards of your deck. Add one to your hand. Shuffle the rest back into your deck. You know, special summon. Can you activate this? You cannot activate more than one per turn. So yeah, that's part of the Magical Mallet. Shuffle the same number of cards. Any number of cards in the hand of your deck draw the same number. Doesn't hinder you on summoning. You can activate more than once in the turn. And this is why I prefer Magical Mallet over... Over part of the rally. Now on to on to my what's in my mind episode two. So yeah, so what's on my mind today? Do a network and sneak previews and do list packs. So yeah, let's get started. Do a network. It's a wonderful resource. It's a wonderful resource for duelists to try out new decks, hang out with friends and play with them, and and make new decks and and just put, and just test things for regionals, locals, etc. The problem is a good a good thing is there's always bad things that happens with anything in life. The problem with doing that doing that work is the following. Players who don't know, do not know the rules. Admins who do not know the rules either, and then they go in favor of the other person after knowing it. You've right. And swearing and offensive lang offensive language such as swearing and other offensive stuff. I also do not know the I. I'm also learning every day new stuff about you know, I'm not a master about it, but if I do learn something, I take into that into consideration, and I will make sure to remember that, so I don't have the problem next time. Like, for example, I was, I can't, I have an example. So apparently I'm playing a guy, I can't remember his name, I think it was the Emil to, he's, a N L L E Q two. We're playing six rounds, so he goes all this stuff, and he goes and summons out. Okay, let me show you how to get on um, keys in two keys in, and then he goes into a rank. He goes into Shadow Six Samurai. Shadow Six Samurai don't know. It's a, it's a new XC like, monster for samurais. So he does that. Then he goes and summons Grandmaster. I'm pop. I'm. Pr I'm pretty sure I have the ruling on this right. But if I don't, please call me in the comments for what I have wrong and what I have right. But uh, that was what I'm talking about. He goes and summons Grandmaster. Grand, and then he's like, um, you can't do that. And he's like, yeah, I can. And he's like, I'll uh, read the effect. And he needs a complete smart ass and says, oh, we use it. I typed it out for him. Six seven grandmaster. I mean, grandmaster with a six seven. You're going to try one in the field. You can also summon it if you control A. A means one. See it. Oh, six seven on the field. If this card is destroyed, by an opponent's effect, you can re return it from the graveyard back to your hand, I think. I'm not sure why that's right, but I think I got it. So then we go on a freaking argument, and he's like, you know what? And he's like, you quit, and then he starts talking about me. Are you, are you, 
a Spanish, and I'm like, seriously, seriously. So uh, this is now. Nice. Now this is just getting interesting. Now he thinks I'm Spanish because apparently I have the ruling wrong. But I think I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have the ruling right. He has the ruling wrong. Then he starts talking about where you from. I'm like. What the hell is up with you? You're an idiot. So I'm from Canada. You speak French. I'm like, no, I speak English. I'm talking. I'm typing in English right now. So yeah, he's like, oh, once you learn the rules, you can like. And at first, another time is I'm playing a guy. I don't know his name, but he's playing Sid and I. He got a great Jordan Sheehan. A grandmaster and a, she, and a great lizard six and a she n, and then I'm putting my photon deck. I activate Luminati, Luminize, which everyone doesn't know. The gains the attack, gains the attack of that person, and it adds it onto the light monster, and it saves them to the next um, until the end of your next turn. And so yeah, I activate Luminos, and then. He negates with she in. So then I, I, for response, I activate me force. And he's like, um, you can do that. And I'm like, yes, I can. And he's like, no, you can't. And I'm like, yes, I can. If she negates it, it means I've never actually activated a spell or trap card, meaning I can activate it once again. You, on the other hand, can't. Because, um, Great Short Machine said, you can only activate one spell card. You negate a spell card or a trap card, it means I can activate once more. Like what I just said. Who's the new community? He's like, you know what? I've had it. I go for it. He's like, just something you lost. And I was like, okay. But I sent something to him. I sent, and what Shogun, Great Short Machine and in, in Legend 6 and or she in, we are not a lock. You cannot lock down the opponent. If you negate something, you cannot do anything about it. People, I'm going to say this once. Please learn the rules. If you don't learn the rules, someone teach it to you. I did not know the ruling. I'm still unsure about the ruling on... on Rescue Rabbit and Skill Drain. Does it get the effect? Does it not get the effect? I've had people say he doesn't get the effect. I've had people say he gets the effect. So I'm not sure. That's one ruling I'm not sure about. So if anyone knows the ruling, please tell me. On to my next topic. Duelist packs. Duelist packs are packs that are arranged to see different type of monsters that are used by characters in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TV series. The first dual pack ever, ever released was Dual Spark Yugi. Okay. Uh, I think it was Yugi. No. I think it was, um, it happened not Yugi, it was Jaden. The characters from GX. Some of the characters. They had, um, Shaz, they had. Oh, damn it. It had Alexis' little brother, it had, um, the guy that won Destiny Heroes, it had Jaden. And had Jesse. And then they went to Yuki and Kaiba. I'm surprised they have not done not done a Joey deck yet. A Joey do a Joey Duels pack. Then they went to Yusei. And then they went to Crow. Where are Yuma and Kaitos or Kite? For English, do us back. In Japan, they already have them. And also, in Yuma, you get three of the stories. Uh, number 61. I think it's 61 or number 6. No, not 16 Shockmaster. Um, or for a Foster Source and Flavor Source. I don't know the real name, I'm just calling it by that. Because you get that number in that duels pack. We haven't got that number. It's like, that's the only two numbers that have not been released. And they've been released in Japan. Also, I would like 
um, I'm sorry, Sakoto one. Can I wait to get some more cards that Koto use in the series? Because it's actually really... Because some of the monsters he actually uses are interesting. I have made a Photon deck. I'm still trying to work on it though. But it actually runs pro It runs pretty well. So yeah. I'm begging you, Konami. Konami. Please. For the love that all is, for the love of all that is holy, please release another dual pack, dual pack. And for my last topic, sneak previews. What's the whole point of a sneak preview? Oh, a sneak preview. Oh, it means that you get to go test a little new card with the set. You get five packs. You got Matt. Well, the map's cool. I can. S I'm not saying that's not, but that's like I think that's the only good thing about the sneak preview. You get a cool map. You get a silly promo card. Ooh, promo card. Then that means that then you have to wait two weeks until you can use it. And it's like, what's the point of that? It's pointless. You can just wait and just get the box. Because you can pull the promo card in the pack. Yeah, in the car. But also, you're getting, I think, 24 packs. I think you get 24 packs in a box, 9 cards each. And that's 9 times 6. 24 times 9, which would be. I'll get it. Uh, give me a second. So, 24 times 9 gives you 216 coins in a box. So, yeah. And then you get more secret rares. Was it well, uh, while I sneak previewing a little bit of it? So, yeah, that's what's on my mind, and that's why I prefer Magical Mallet over Party of the Rally. So, yeah, please comment on the thing about uh, the ruling about what you not, didn't like about it. Please comment if you what's the ruling on Rescue Rabbit. And stay tuned for the next episode. Also, question of the day is: uh, I'm calling. Uh, please comment in the comments below what you would like me to talk about in the next "What's on My Mind." So yeah. And until next time, YouTube, Venus Dreamman signing out.